Hi, I'm Zandi from The Work Is Getting To Me, and I'm going to show you how to make friendship bracelets, so you can make some new friends and hip bracelets. In this video, I'll show you how to do the double stitch and how to make a bracelet called the Candy Striper. To get started, all you need is a clipboard or something to hold your work, multiple colors of embroidery floss, scissors, and that's it. Now that you're comfortable with the Chinese ladder stitch, practicing your half hitches in both directions, it's time to move on to more intricate and colorful patterns that really free you up to do whatever you want. The four new stitches, which are just different combinations of the half hitch stitches you already know, can be represented as symbols. So you'll see those appear as I do them right above the clipboards. So let's start here. Here we're going to travel from left to right. And so we're going to make a four, tuck the yarn through and pull tight. And then repeat and you'll see the pink yarn is on the right side and there's a little novelty knot right there. Now with this, we're going to move from the left back to the left. So this is important for turning or making dots and things. And you start out by doing one stitch towards the right, but then you do the opposite stitch back to where the yarn came from. And now you can see they're opposites. And this has the similar knobbly knot, but it came out on the other side. Now, if you were to reverse that, because a lot of patterns are mirrored, working with the blue stitch, going from right to left, you're going to make a backwards four, pull the yarn through, tighten, and then again, make a backwards four, pull the yarn through, and tighten. And this is a mirrored, an exact mirrored version of each other, right here, these two. And then to mirror this one, the right back to right stitch, you're going to make a backwards four, pull and tighten, but then you're going to make a forwards four, pull, tighten. You'll see the yarn ends up on the other side. It doesn't seem very complicated, but you can do anything with these four stitches, all sorts of color patterns. So I'm going to start out by teaching you a very simple one right now. This is the candy striper bracelet that we're going to work on today. And it's named after um, hospital helpers, volunteers who wore striped uniforms when they cared for the sick. You can see that I have a few. This is one. This is one with, um, I think, 12 strings. So you can make it as big as you want. And this one, though, is four strings. And that's a great place to start. Here are our four matching, um, matching the little one strings. And you can see the knot with the twist. And then the second knot is the same as in the Chinese staircase beginner video. I'm gonna take out my clipboard, which I attach to the table so that it doesn't move around. Now that you've learned the double half hitch stitches and you can go in directions and change colors, it's a lot more fun. So let's start with green. In this style of bracelet, the order of the stripes is determined by how you hold the color strings when you start the bracelet. We're going to actually be going all from left to right, all the same double stitch, but it's good practice for when you get to things that have complicated stitch patterns. So let's start. You go one stitch, two stitch, you'll see the bump, and now you move to the next string. I like to hold my strings in order between my fingers. It makes it easier 
to tie them and to keep track of the colors and to make sure that they don't twist around each other and get all mixed up. Now to my left, um, just quickly, you'll see a pattern that might look a little bit confusing right now, but basically all of those stitches that we learned before, the four main stitches of friendship bracelets, have an arrow on them and they point in a direction, whether that's like right back to right or right to left or left to left or left to right, like we're doing right now. Um, and those are depicted with arrows. You'll see that all of the arrows on this chart are um, left to right. Each, each string gets a double half hitch going from left to right. And if you want to try it with only one half hitch, which is um, when I was really little, I didn't, I watched someone make a friendship bracelet and I didn't understand it. And so I used to use single half hitches. Everything would curl forward. So that's not so great. That's why I use the double. So, and we're already onto the pink. They go pretty fast. Well, especially when you're using huge, huge yarn. So... blue, this is kind of a nice color blue, and now that's one whole repeat of the pattern, so if you're looking at the chart, um, that's what's in the chart, one repeat of the pattern, probably with an extra just to make sure that you know it's repeating, and you should feel accomplished if you were able to do that. So another repetition. And pretty soon this is going to be second nature to you. And you'll be able to sit out in the summer with, uh, you know, this around your toe if you're flexible or on a clipboard if you're not like me. Um, in the winter, you can pin it onto your jeans, which I prefer. And I would definitely recommend trying this with a bunch of colors. The greatest thing about the simple stitches is that you can pick your favorite colors, colors that go well together, and they won't look weird because it's just stripes. Like almost anything looks good. So I hope you've picked up some of the technique by now. We're just making, you know, the back course. And uh, that's the end of the second repetition. And you can always go back if you need to go over that. So instead of finishing this up, I'm going to show you something a little bit cool. If you're wondering what happens if you suddenly change directions, um, with Candy Striper, there's a variation called Zigzag, where you do actually change directions, and we are going to use the opposite direction stitch, that's the right to left double half hitch. So watch what happens with this, it's really cool. This, this was my favorite stitch when I was a kid at camp. Can you tell what's happening yet? It looks a little bit weird, right? Kind of crazy. But it shows you how much you can do with such simple, simple things. So, purple. And remember, this is just the double half hitch from left to right. And that is the one 
where you make the backwards four and then fold it through. So now with, with just one repetition in the other direction, can you see what's going on? It's like totally changed diagonals here. And then you can go back the other way and get the same thing. So this part will speed up for you so that you don't have to watch slowly. Yep, totally last row before we tie off. Which um, will be done exactly the same way as in the Chinese ladder video. We're done. So that is the candy striper pattern, and then a candy striper variation using stitches that go in reverse, the right to left stitches instead of the left to right stitches. And then again, we go left to right, just like we started, and it finishes off with basically the reverse candy stripe stitch, but you wouldn't say that, you would just say candy stripe and it would just go in a different direction. And there you have it. Please look for more craft activities and tutorials at The Work Is Getting To Me. Bye.